Hey there YouTube, this is a sling care video for regal jumping spider slings um, if anyone's bred them or anyone's intending on breeding them it's just sort of what to do um, it's aimed actually specifically at a Naomi Jackson who I'm sending a couple of these to um, just so she knows how to look after them I couldn't find a lot of information online um, I've kept them before and had hassle with the little slings I think I've pretty much got it down to a T now so what you will have is something like this. That is how small it is. That is, you know, it's a quarter of the size of the very smallest baby praying mantis you're going to get. Um, these are actually quite a lot bigger than what they were when I first had them. Um, when I got them, they were feeding on fruit flies that I got from eBay. Um, they are D, again I'm not going to try and pronounce that, but it's the end ones, they're the micro micro fruit flies. Um, they've now gone on to the regular fruit flies. Um, these ones, your standard pet shop fruit flies. Um, so basically what I've come to conclusion is that with these guys, do not put any substrate in there. The main cause of death for them is when you have just a little bit of condensation on the edge and they drown in it and they'll be perfectly fine just with the moisture from whatever they're eating as long as they're not in like a hot hot space just room temperature will be fine um, so what I tend to do is put just a stick in there for them and I drill a hole in the top and so Naomi I'm gonna actually send you one of these little pots um, I'll send you everything you need for them um, and you do you take your blue tack off and there's a little hole and get your fruit fly every sort of what, three or four days maybe even not maybe not even that you can do it every week but I try it every four days and you pop your fly through there there's plenty of air in there he's so small you go through the hole blue tack back on and just leave him to eat and I mean he will get bigger and bigger um, but at this stage, that's how to do it. Now, let's just turn the light off and see if it will go for that tiny little fly. I mean, he is minute. <laughs> Come on, fruit fly. Tell you what, the likeliness that will actually catch him grabbing this one. Um, it's pretty low because I never seem to see it. Um, but I do get the aftermath. So here's a few that I've literally just fed. Um, down there you can see there is a spider who's got a little fly. The uh, fly is probably about the size of the spider and a half. Um, so I think that's about the recommended size. Um, when they get a little bit bigger you can go into crickets. So I've got one, where is he? God, I've everything's so unorganised in here at the moment. Um, um, um. Hmm. Somewhere, oh, up there. Oh, hello, hello, hello. So this is a little male about six months in. Probably saw him in the last feeding video. Quite a lot bigger. Um, made a little web nest, they always make a little web nest um, I've got a little female who's like a ginger colour um, you won't be able to tell the colour until they're a little bit bigger yeah. let's pop that in there and then here is your adult Phidippus regis and they're pretty friendly never been bitten, you can handle them um, there she is. She tends to just jump on your hand and then jump back off. The only time I think you ever would get bitten is if she's in her little web tunnel and you prod it around in there, then she might go a little bit like, what are you doing? But if you put your hand out, let them crawl onto you, um, they tend to be okay. I mean, the issue is that she's got this tall enclosure and she just sort of stays in that little corner. But if you've got like a nice enclosure, getting them out isn't a problem. Um, 
I mean, yeah, she's pretty easy. She just eats a fly every few days. That's about it. She's pretty cool. And the males will have green turquoisey little fangs, which look amazing. They have big old arms that they wave about. The females are a bit bigger and they've got these a bit more of a fluffy, comical face. Um, but yeah, they're really stunning little spiders. Um, and I will send a few of these out. Uh, if you are after any of these, the little slings, um, you can contact me, well, if you leave me a comment and then I'll give you details to talk to me. Um, but yeah, I've got hundreds of these little slings. Uh, I've got these ones here, and then I've got the ones that haven't been separated yet. Oh, sorry about that, that's the geese. Um, but yeah, there you go, I mean, where is this one that I just put the fly in? Yeah, yeah nothing yet. Um, but I mean that's pretty much it, once it's a little bit bigger move it out, you can put substrate in the bottom, but just whilst they're so small, I wouldn't put anything down, um, just just because if there is too much, you're going to get moisture in there, if you get moisture in there it will potentially drown, uh, but they're pretty simple, um, yeah, alrighty, there you go.